Günther von Klüger. Welcome. And uh, Jagernot program is what? Military builder. At war have deployed fighters, etc. etc. Jagernot program which grants fighter production at the expense of everything else. Costs 50 to take it. So let's not bother. UK, that one doesn't matter. Decisions available. Industrial land appropriation doesn't matter. Okay, currently at war with France. Nineteen thirty-nine and forty-one percent. Oh, you know it's actually August. Wasn't that when Germany declared war on Poland? So we're not actually too far behind, even though we're choosing France instead of Poland. And what are we up against here? Fielded manpower. We outdo them for now. That is, I assume, not counting the Italians. One point three million. Where's that? Here it is. Yeah, so one point three million is purely us. And we yeah, need to find our Panzers. Right, so the Panzers are going to go through Luxembourg when we get to do that. So that'll work out fine. Accordion Kingdom of Italy. Accordion UK. Germany at war again. Although many have wished for a long-lasting peace in Europe, a recent turn of events has left Germany on the path to war once again. Despite clearly violating the Treaty of Versailles, German troops have mobilised ready to go on the offence. German officials state that they will no longer keep the Rhineland demilitarised, arguing they need to protect German citizens in the area. For the German nation. South Africa has joined. Oh, you know what? Good point. We have an air force over here. With 533, which means... Put them in this one, going to northern France to start with. They'll probably get decimated over there. Looking okay for now until the British planes come down. And we're at war with the Raj. Alright, so it's at 22 days, in the middle of September. We're at war with New Zealand. That's an actual British. Uh, German-French war, for a change. It's rare. It's usually the German-Polish war that drags on forever. And... Yeah, if they ever move out of any of these spots, we'll think about going in, but... There's no point trying to do a river crossing. Although... Uh, there's another thing now, isn't there? If we look... Not in there, you have to do it on this one. Isn't there a thing for... Strategic priorities? We want... Is that how it works? Yes. Land forts. Bomb the bejesus out of their land forts, if possible. But we're definitely going to declare war on uh, Luxembourg first, and then we'll declare war on... What's your name? Belgium. I wonder why we don't get to do it to the Netherlands. So we'll drag this army down to replace them. I don't know, leave them there for now. And we can get a political advisor. No, we want to get an aircraft designer before we forget about it. Medium, we want uh, light. Light aircraft, Measure Schmidt. Agility and maximum speed for fighters. Not allowed to do it because it costs 150. Fair enough. What's his name? Wilhelm only helps with chiefs and political advisors. Don't have to worry about Poland. They, yeah, we should be fine. What's Russia up to? Workers' culture. It's not good, I was hoping they'd go straight through for the Polish war. Alright. Meanwhile, back in Deutschland. Großraumwirtschaft. It's just infrastructure. West Wall wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Land forts on the French border. And the Atlantic Wall. Maybe. Otherwise... 
Army Innovations was for Land Doctrine. Let's just jump into Army Innovations. It's fine. Italians are doing their push. So I made it through a little. And then the French noticed them. Alright, uh, Luxembourg. Let's say goodnight to them. Declare war. Annex. Don't call her in a It's going to be merged anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, yes. Absolutely jump in there ASAP. Do it before the end of the day. Luxembourg have capitulated. Get some gear from them. And then these guys now. I think we'll still do... It's hard to see, but that's the... Um, what do you call it? Spearhead. And then spearhead from Paris to there. And then spearhead to there. And then spearhead to Brest. And after that, just do a general thing down towards Bordeaux. Alright. That becomes their order. They will do this in a ridiculously aggressive manner. And we could pop out a bunch more. Uh, yeah, screw it. <laughs> we'll pop them out now. Now, 37 out of 24 is a problem. So we're going to grab the weaker ones. How many? 13. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ish. Throw them into this one, which is what these guys. All right, and then we'll pull thirteen of the infantry out of this. They're going to join that army. Alright, should be good to go for a bit. Available war goal, Belgium. May as well declare war on them right now. Now we'll get this lot started. As the tanks try to roll through down there, so we'll actually do. Get some of them running up to Lille, Dunkirk, Antwerp. Except for half of them, who will go Lille, Dunkirk, Calais, and try and move around to Le Havre. Now, what's our uh, fleet size these days? 86. Mostly subs. Have we started production of destroyers? Barely. And we do need a lot more oil now. Well, a little bit more. We need rubber as well. We're getting that from probably the French. We can get it from the Dutch. Oil is from the US and Romania. You know what? Just want to make sure that's sorted. Alright, they're all good. And those are expanding, so that should be fine. The other thing I was going to do, though, was update these guys' garrison area to ignore Alsace, but start pushing the guys. That's Luxembourg. Start pushing them to backfill over here as the tanks move out. Hold on to the coastline. You know what? Get them moving down to Bordeaux as well. And then I guess hold Paris would be good. Now, what is French capitulation these days? Some war sport, low stability, disjointed government, etc. Alright, assuming that we'll be able to deal with most of this. Let's pull off one of these guys to go around Brussels up to Antwerp. If we can just take three of their cities quickly, we'll be golden. It's pretty historical, that, isn't it? Alright, got Antwerp. I'll send one down this way. I'll send the other guy around to try and get Liège from the back. Alright, and then 
do manage that. Yeah, that's a bit nasty. He needs to come down and around to get over to Liege. And why have they stopped there? Okay. Um, head through to Paris. Which is supposed to be their main move. Why don't we have Autorki? 300k manpower. Oh, yeah. Did forget about the manpower issue. Um, got 140 at the moment. We only need 112. Extensive conscription. Belgium have capitulated. Good. Pause. Give us their stuff. 2 5. So, only problem with this is training time. Let's jump into that. Resistance occupation in Pas de Calais and Flanders. We will be gentle, gentle on them, so we don't have to deal with it too much. Sufficient resources. Oil, rubber, tungsten. I'm trying to think of who we... Nah, well, six. No. Just keep going with the US. See if the Allies want to attack US shipping. And we do have convoys, luckily. So, more from the Dutch for the rubber. And then tungsten. Let's get one more from Sweden. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so manpower, of course, comes up slowly now. That should be fine. No supply issues yet. Of course, Belgium disappeared. Did that break? You know what? Let's grab, uh, was it Yellow Army? Yellow Befehler. These guys will jump on down here and we'll just get them wandering through. They can probably do that aggressively. So they assign them to it and get them running. Now the other thing is this army is getting pushed right, some a little thin. Let's drag them back. I just cover the Maginot plus a little further. Alright, that should be all good. Now, yeah, White Army can't move because they're Maginot. Blue Army should also pull back a little. Ah, I get it. Only 13, right. Where's their first leg? It's this one. Attach them all to that. An elastic defense is ready. So, Blitzkrieg or mobile infantry? Hell yes, with the tanks. Alright, and then... These guys should be aggressive. I think they're just getting into position first. Um, we have command power capped out as well. So, do you want to do force attack plus and stuff? Obviously. Yeah, we'll do a force attack with the tanks. Which didn't make it into Paris, so it's um, keep them going so they're not having huge supply issues. And do I not give... No, I'll give them... Ah, there's only nine of them there. Alright, add everyone onto that. Probably got broken by something going on down there. And how are the French looking? 81%. No, 70% or less. And then we will have to think about the naval invasion plan. So we're going to go from here to here. And then that would move there. So next research we're going to want to do is actually the naval invasion. And we are losing convoys down there. The fall of Paris. While fighting still rages elsewhere in Free France, reports have come in of German troops entering Paris. The capital was declared an open city by French forces moments before the last units retreated. Several columns of German troops recreated the Prussian Victory Parade of 1871 by marching down the Champs-Élysées while the Parisians looked on in stunned silence. Military experts predict the collapse of Free France is imminent. Well, yeah, it happened at the same hour, so... Wilhelm II has announced that the cowardly French nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. French government chose to flee the country has gone into exile. The main forces have capitulated. The German Empire is now in control of their home area. 
Though the war against what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Central Powers. Stacks of stuff. And... These guys are the only ones without orders. So we will pull them up to Flandern. Producing equipment, we have no division template for. Alright, because we just scored all of uh, France's goodies. So, starting on the light SP artillery. And then tactical bombers after that. We... We'll stick to that. I guess we want more tactical bombs, so we'll wait for that until we boost the rest. And then... Right. These guys aren't going to do a naval invasion. They're just going to be sitting ready to jump over to London. When... Here we go. Two days out. But, I guess, Ungetated. grab ten of these to start with. Ungetated. All right. And do they have another... Yeah, Czechoslovakia. Um, we will want to delete the Czechoslovakian moves. Get everybody sitting in Dunkirk. And make sure that these guys are covering all of the French bits that we need to worry about. Garrison area. So our garrison all of France. We don't need to really worry about inland Deutschland. We'll keep them on the coast just in case something happens up there. Uh, this is Germany. That was part of Germany, wasn't it? So it was that. That. That is coastal. Alright, so we'll leave them doing this. Guard naval bases, guard victory points. Naval bases, yes. Coastline, yes. Air bases, not so much. Guard the forts, doesn't matter. So we'll need 81 to be able to do that. But that's fine. Alright, how long right. until we can do this? 70 days. Improved artillery upgrade. So, into the naval tree. When is this usually? 1940. Alright, so timing's pretty good. Jump onto that. And then decisions are available. Industrial land. Dismantle the Maginot line. Do we have any reason to dismantle it? You don't get anything for it, do you? Coastal fort construction speed, land fort construction speed. Only for six months. No, there's no reason to worry about that. And the Jägernut program. I mean, we could spend the 50, but let's not worry about that either. Land appropriation. <clears throat> yeah, everything there should be fine. Don't worry about decisions. Don't worry about that. Resistance occupation. Shouldn't be too much of an issue once we get those guys built up. So I guess we could do uh, create an empty. No, hang on, cavalry brigade. No, it's still one with MPs. Create an empty one. We just want infantry battalions. We don't have the thing. Okay. You have to research. Where am I looking? Support companies. Yeah, you do have to research them, of course. So, you know what? Let's just make more infantry. They're always useful. Train. 20 at a time in Merseland. Auto joining Home Guard. And these guys should be. I need to join the Home Guard as well for now. Yeah, we're not getting the tungsten from Sweden. Well, we could get it from the US. Okay. Uh, tungsten... We'll go for both. <clears throat> and then the rubber isn't coming in from the Dutch. Oil isn't coming in from the US. Get a little from the Soviets. Get a little from Iraq. Still three lots under. Try and get more from the US. Should get through eventually. 
Yeah, so that's reset the thing. That's better. Yeah, but doesn't actually make it. Screw it, it's good enough. The question of Yugoslavia. We now stand supreme in Europe. France was along the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe. Now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit with no one left to stop us. It's time to tell the Yugoslavians they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us or they'll be swept away. Uh, yeah. Come in, Yugoslavia. Now, Austria. It's feeling much more threatened by us, but we have a draw that may a war they may be drawn into. Or a draw that may be worn into. Yugoslavia. Request this. Yeah, it's all because we're at war. Oh yes, the Air Force, of course. Jump onto the Benelux region. They're going to put their guys in there. The victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice and our diplomats have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They will retain control of southern France while we are free to occupy the rest. And they call it a Bourbon France. Free France will be known as Free France. Italy gets little bits and pieces. Non-line supporters start civil war against the second armistice of Compiègne. No, we'll conquer it all. I want their civilian factories more than anything else. Start knocking out the rest of our own stuff. All right, and the German fleet. It's not ready to go yet. 180 days. It would be good to wait for that. I think we just go with the 10. I mean, all we have to do is take one of those two, so we should be okay. Now, future them set. We could um, fabricate on Poland. Start justifying on them. Conquering Danzig. 230 days. These guys should be able to do that by themselves. So he's got probably 40 divisions. We've got 48 sitting there. That should be... Decently stronger. Why is this Panzer? Oh, because those are the ones we blew out before their training was done. Alright, they're fine. They're fine. So, speed 5 again, I guess. And who were they? That was this army. Alright. The yellow army, now that we control this, we should go all around that later. That's fine, that's fine. Italy can't get through unless uh, Austria and Czechoslovakia join in. Or we'll reform Austria-Hungary, which would be a Hungarian thing. He's, yeah, I don't know what you actually have to do for them to get that. Alright, um, national focus. We're doing army innovations. Autarky. Risk bonus for excavations. It's okay, military factory construction. Yep, yeah, I guess. Sounds good. There you go, Hussaria. And knock them out. So the only reason we didn't already have Autarky was because I never bother looking at this side, I guess. Should have probably done it before we did um, army innovations. Because we do need to be working down towards the extra research slot. So Kaiser Verka. And then Wilhelm Wagen, get all those civilian factories. Don't care about synthetic resources so much anymore. So we go through Autarki, Kaiserwerke, Wilhelm Wagen, and then the uh, extra research slot. I guess it wouldn't be terrible to go down to the Wunderwaffe eventually either. Maybe develop some nuclear weapons. Use them against the US if we play for that one. Decisions available, industrial land appropriation. No. Hmm. Inferior enemy over there is always a good sign. So you know what? After they've done that, they would actually just want to hold it. Alright, we call for war against Poland. Event or decision timeout. <clears throat> what is timing up?
Nothing's going to time out. And we're not actually... Yeah, we don't have enough men. So we're not actually defending that well enough. Excavation 2. Uh, it's 39. When is... I'm already doing that. I mean, we can knock out encryption. It'll give us a small bonus against the Brits when we land. Reunification of Austria-Hungary. Finally, with our support, Austria has taken the lead in the reunification of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Treaties between the involved parties were signed this morning, undoing two decades of separatist sentiment. The new unified government immediately pledged their military support to our cause, becoming a member of the Central Powers. Old ally has returned to our side. Central Powers absolutely dominating Europe now. And then Yugoslavia, where we're trying to pressure as well. Hmm. Austria-Hungary reformed, and Italy's called them in. The Danubian successor states, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, have recently undergone a wave of pro-imperial sentiment, and under the leadership of the German Empire, now elected to unify their respective countries once more into Austria-Hungary. New Austro-Hungarian government immediately took steps to sign a formal treaty of alliance with the German Empire, openly giving their support to the German anti-British, anti-French foreign policy. And we didn't have to fire a shot. What is going on down here? We've done a bit of a landing. That's not looking good. It's fine. The Italians deal with the Mediterranean. And the Air Force, really quickly. We're going to want to push them over this side, ready to go on the channel. We lost all of our transports. Fair enough. And we are actually ready. So, the fleet. Where is the fleet? Alright, they're actually out. I forgot to send them on patrol. Alright, Kriegsmarine. Certainly not strong enough to take on the uh, British fleet, but it is strong enough to do convoy escort just in the English Channel long enough for us to sneak these guys past, hopefully. Let's do this the second that they arrive. It brings down to speed four. So, ten divisions need to jump across. And you know what? We actually need these guys all in the English Channel now. Enemy ships present only 30 to 32. That's the important bit. As soon as our ships arrive. Assuming they can get through here. But on the second, angered by... Posturing. And you know what? We can't actually get through there, can we? We'd be blocked by Denmark. Neutral. Navies can pass. No, so that's fine. Fate of Yugoslavia. We declare war on Yugoslavia. Um, sure, why not? Of course, we have the kill canal, so we can get through there. So why were they not doing that? All right, so uh, Austria, Hungary, and Italy can just deal with Yugoslavia. Although we do have this army up here. All right, you know what? Let's grab these guys. We'll come down here, and we'll get as much participation as we can by chomping on them. Now, next change. Ship designers, not so much. Aircraft designer, we were waiting to get a measure Schmidt black and white. <laughs> Alright, there we go. First 10 tanks coming, and then I've got to remember these 24 are waiting to jump over there as well. Um, no, we can't do that until I've landed. Damn it. Always just happen to get caught in there. There was a chance that it wouldn't happen on this tile, and they'd be able to just land. And he's bringing everyone to bear. 
Alright, well, War Tucky's done, so Kaiser Verica. And we're sinking some of his ships, it's a good sign. Let's take out his battleships, though. Looks like they're actually backing off. Good. Let's carry her out of there. That's where we lost a sub and a couple of destroyers. As we disappear off the bottom of the page. He's lost 26 destroyers, we've lost three. Well, it's definitely going our way then. The three battleships coming in. Please sink. What was he? Jellico. Still attacking it. Uh, transports are still held up in it. It's Ten convoys. Which reduces the strength of the army when they land. It's unfortunate. But I would call this a resounding success. Assuming we just get onto them. We're attacking the convoy and we're not defending. Hmm. We've got the yeah, massive aerial domination. Although, I guess the Italians and everyone are sending their planes over as well. Right, five ships left. We can destroy the Malaya. 30k is beyond our range. The subs are keeping us busy. Seventy days for landing craft. It's our battleship on. I'm surprised we've actually well, losing all the convoys. I guess is the reason we haven't lost anything else. And the naval battle. They call it a victory. Fair enough, that's not the actual naval battle. Here we go. So look at all of the junk that they lost. Beautiful. But we actually lost every single thing that we had in there. So we have to set this up again. And we shouldn't have to wait for it to prepare. We lack the intel on the English Channel. No ships present. Right. Um... I mean, we're damaged as hell. Let's split them off. Can't do that. Where's the... Uh, repair priority high, yes, but... Uh, okay. Cancel the repair task, I guess, and then they'll sort themselves out after. I could send them back, but I'd rather keep them involved for now. Can you please just go and do your damn job? Over there. Austrian pro-German sentiment soars. German sentiment in our southern neighbour Austria has increased remarkably now that we have been allies for some time. It would not be outside the realm of possibility. A referendum calling for our unification with Germany for unification with Germany might meet with the Austrian people's approval. Should we urge the Austrian government to hold one? Uh, yeah. Large ships on low strength. Yes, we're aware. We just need that to happen so we can jump out while they're trying to repair their fleet. Alright, and then uh, in this one we have 10 replacement panzer divisions, hopefully. No, not at all. Well, these guys can all auto join this one. I'm sure one of these. Yeah, here we go. 14. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4. These 10 need to join over here. And we have made pretty short work of Yugoslavia without even participating. Yugoslavia has capitulated. Okay. Austrian peoples vote for unification. The Austrian people have voted in favour of unification with their northern brethren. Integration of the Austrian states and the military will commence immediately. A great day for the German question. So we only get the Austrian part, not the Hungarian part. No, we get the entire thing. Well, that's interesting. Austria votes to join Germany. Since the close allied cooperation of Austria-Hungary and the German Empire began a couple of months ago, pro-unification sentiment has risen dramatically in Austria. A plebiscite held yesterday saw so the Austrian people vote overwhelmingly in favour of unification with their northern neighbours. 
Integration of the Austrian state has been pushed forward immediately, and the old state was abolished this morning for Greater Germany. Well, that's more than you usually get with the um, Anschluss, so I'm happy with that. Free military factories are awesome. We want to knock out fighters and cars. Oh crap. And medium tax. Jesus, how many have we got? Another four. Alright, work on the tactical bombers. And then after this, we want transport planes and strategic bombers. Alright, have we landed yet? No, we got caught just by the mayor. some destroyers and light cruiser coming in. Plenty of subs should be able to deal with it. Unfortunately they're gonna have a lot of dudes up here in a second. It's all gonna be about how long it takes them to actually there we go. Alright, they have arrived. So we want these guys to find a way over there given half a chance, and then where the Black Army used to be, I don't know, I'm not doing much anymore, so Black Army Infantry needs to arrive to chew on them, and then these guys would have been over there somewhere as well, so you know, jump on, then go to Cornwall and Cardiff. Up to Manchester. Alright, Black Army and the White Army. Unassigned divisions. Oh, the old Austrians. Alright, they shall go and join in with them. And the last one. Jump on there as well. Very low supplies. I'm thinking it's just this, but it's saying the Home Guard as well. Dangerous naval invasion in Western Poland. Yeah, yeah. Ish. They shouldn't be able to do much there though, hopefully. So we are fabricating on Poland. Guaranteed by the UK and France. When is this going to be ready? June. Guess we could just do it as part of this war, rather than waiting for England to fall and then doing it separately. All right, one is going there. Weiter, weiter. Well, we are defending, but then we'll be straight into the port. Yeah, see, they're going to be pulling around before that. Just need to win this defense. So I guess we could plan another naval invasion just to throw them off somewhere else. That goes through the other thing, though. Hmm. If we bring them next to Dover, is usually terrible. Um, go here, though. So we've got four. Want to jump on there, and then move up that way. Go as soon as they can. And then the actual fleet, Kriegsmarine, have they auto split off? No, they've just been dying. So we're going to hold them away. I thought Calais was better port. Brest is the 10. Alright, switch their thing up to Brest. Would make split off is naval, but go and repair now. Improved computing machines. Good. Uh, it is 1940 now, so we'd work on more encryption. Oh, there's resistant occupation. Hey, and there we go. So now that we hold a port, we will just land troops and troops and troops. So these guys are jumping on. Of course, convoy issues. Um, should probably actually deal with that. 
make convoys. As a top priority. What's there? Yeah, oil problems. Go something like that. And then oil problems are rather overwhelming these days. Try and just get as much as we can from the US. Rubber problems. Get it from the Dutch. Tungsten problems. From the US. Military factories, probably. I don't know, because we got all the French ones. Alright, so this rep round should start working pretty well. Now, the main problem you usually have is Dover being massively protected, but looks like at the moment they're not doing much at all. Now we start decrypting. Oh, perfect. Holding Dover practically unopposed. Portsmouth would be wonderful to take early as well. Uh, this guy doesn't seem to understand. We want to get over there. And we are getting held up here a little. Hmm. Alright. We're going to have to bring these guys back out for convoy escort. Push the right button. Go to the English Channel. Just until our infantry can all arrive. And the Air Force should move over to here and just do Southern England. Oh, looks like we're failing to defend against them there. Oh, God. Alright, the terrible thing looks like it may be happening. Let's um, delete all of the tank's orders. I'm just going to get them to have a fallback line through Dover. Just get them all down there. As long as we can hold this, we can win. Just need the infantry to uh, get across the strait. Alright, just losing planes. That's acceptable. So we also 